$2 billion in new investments in manufacturing, solar in, in Colorado, steel in Ohio, and optic fiber in South Carolina, and much more. Further proof that America's manufacturing is back. Exclusively by Ashwini Vaishna, uh, India's Minister of Railways, Communications, Electronics, as well as IT. Minister, good to have you with us. As Monica indicated, a flurry of deals. Uh, do you think the visit was a game changer for bilateral ties? This visit is a very important milestone between the two countries. The two countries have decided to co-create technology, co-develop technologies, and some of the most critical and emerging technologies, the two countries have decided to become partners. That's a crux of this deal. Uh, for example, semiconductors, telecom, uh, critical minerals, space, all, uh, and, and of course, defense, all these sectors, the two countries will cooperate at a very different level. Mm. You, you talk about semiconductors, uh, Micron, of course, committing $2.75 billion in India. Uh, what will that mean for India's chip ambitions, you think? It's a very big win for us. See, just in one and a half years, when this India's semiconductor program was launched, within this short period, we have been able to create a very comprehensive ecosystem. We have tied up with 104 universities by now including uh, the Purdue University of US. We have been able to get the first semiconductor unit, which is Micron, which was announced yesterday. This unit will start production. Uh, they have targeted within, uh, uh, within six quarters, they will start their production. The first production should start within six quarters from now. That's the pace at which our semiconductor program is moving. What's most important is that every part of this ecosystem is getting progress. So, for example, uh, the another big announcement is Applied Materials announcement. Applied Materials is going to invest $300 million to set up a very good design uh, team here, engineering team. We, uh, that team will focus on designing the very complex and sophisticated equipment that go into semiconductor industry. So that's another very big deal. The third part is LAM research. LAM research is going to tie up with our Indian semiconductor mission to train 40,000 engineers over the next few years using their virtual reality-based system called Semiverse. So it's a very comprehensive progress that we have made. Mm -hmm. Uh, Minister Vaishnav, can you give us a sense of how much this localizes India's need or demand uh, for semiconductors? Uh, just any kind of numbers that help us put in perspective what proportion of our market this will supply to? Um, India's electronics industry, which was minuscule few years back, 10 years back, has already crossed $100 billion now. $100 billion, approximately 30-40% of that is the requirement of semiconductors. This particular unit, Micron unit, will basically be focusing on the memory, as we all know. Micron is a memory company. So some part of the memory demand will be met out of this plant. I cannot give you any approximate numbers at this point of time. Let the plant be set up, let the production start, let it uh, ramp up will be able to give you good estimates. But we should also expect more units because once the first unit comes, the ecosystem starts setting. If it's that chicken and egg thing, once the first unit comes, the chemical guys, the gas guys, the rest of the, uh, the logistics guys, all of them start setting their base here, and that makes a very big difference, and that helps uh, grow the industry in a much uh, more accelerated way. Uh, Minister Vaishnav, if I can also ask you a quick question on any details you can share with regards to any visa relaxations on the U.S. front. We did hear uh, some talk of uh, some changes in the H-1B program uh, at least being discussed, but it wasn't very clear what the outcomes were. I know this might be a little bit outside your regular day-to-day -day jurisdiction, but nonetheless, if you could brief us, that would be helpful. I think let's wait for the detailed announcements. Yes, there is a very significant uh, move towards that. And let's wait for the detailed announcements. Uh, Minister, we also know that Vedanta has ambitions in India. It's looking to partner with Foxconn. What's the status of that? 
See, Vedanta Foxconn has been asked to reapply under the new window. And as and when they reapply, we will see and then we can comment on that uh, proposal. Mm. Is there a time frame that you expect to make that announcement? Um, I wouldn't put a time frame on that. Let the uh, interested parties who would like to apply, let them apply. And there are many more firms which are looking at India as the destination C. The talent required in semiconductor industry going into 2030 is 1 million new talent which will be required. That's what the semiconductor industry experts say. I recently visited the West Coast and met about 45 companies out there, 45 semiconductor companies. All of them very clearly said one thing. The talent which is required for the growth of semiconductor industry, that can come only from India, one. Second, the comprehensive ecosystem focus that we have, we have done. We are not rushing through a path. We are focusing on creating that entire ecosystem. That's the second big thing, which is what entire industry is appreciating. The third point which, said is, which people said is, your growth in electronics is going to create a very important demand point for semiconductor industry. All these factors combined may, gives us the confidence right. that yes, the way we are moving forward is the right Lots of interest in India, including Google. We know that you spoke to CEO Sundar Pichai. What's, yeah. what's the latest on that? Well, uh, we requested uh, Google to consider India as the manufacturing base for Pixel. And uh, I'm sure they would be investigating uh, what are the options for them. And uh, given the success we have had on mobile phone manufacturing so far, uh, last year we exported more than $10 billion worth uh, mobile phones. And this year, uh, our guess is that we would definitely be more than, uh, significantly more than uh, previous year's exports. So definitely every major uh, manufacturer of mobile phones should look at India as the destination. Um, Minister Vaishnav, uh, India is rewriting most of its key laws that govern the digital space, uh, ranging from both uh, what happens to e-commerce to what happens to personal privacy. Where are we in that process? Because some of these seem to be running late. And in the context of this visit by Prime Minister Modi, were there any conversations with many of the American technology majors on how they view some of these rewrites? <laughs> Very important point. For the digital economy, we are creating a very comprehensive legal framework. A legal framework which is in tune with the times, which is technology agnostic, which is based on principles, and which creates a huge scope for innovation without strangulating the innovative ecosystem. We are creating that ecosystem. Part of this, basically three major bills are there which are in works and which are doing good progress. What is more important is that we are following a very, very consultative approach. Each and every legal change that we are making, we are consulting the industry, we are consulting all the stakeholders, we are consulting civil society. Every possible view which has to be considered is being taken into consideration. That's the approach we are following. It's a comprehensive approach, but what we feel is by the end of this, when the telecom bill, the digital personal data protection bill, and the Digital India Bill. Right. These three bills are put in place. We will have a good uh, guardrails for the uh, digital right. economy going forward. Uh, Minister, I want to thank you so much for your time. Our thanks to our senior editor, Manika Doshi, uh, and Ashwini Vashna, of course, India's Minister for Railways, Communications, Electronics, and IT in New Delhi.